The U.S. Open is coming up, and you know how all those players got there, right? Practice, practice, practice. Well, today's elevator pitcher has a tool to improve your swing that tennis players should love. Hello. Hi. My name is J.L. Calderon. I am the founder and CEO of NoTennis.com. I specialize in teaching tennis without the use of tennis courts. This is a Tasmi memory board. With the Tasmi memory board, a tennis player can learn to do a forehand, he can learn to do a backhand, he can learn to do a serve. In fact, he can learn to do any stroke in tennis anywhere in the world. Over the years, I have sold some 3,000 memory boards. My teaching methodology has been featured on CNN, New York One, ABC News, and the Tennis Channel. I am looking for $1.1 million. My goal, to sell 1 million memory boards over the next five to seven years. The memory board is a fantastic tool for tennis players to learn to play tennis because it allows you to play tennis anywhere in the world. You know, having just played a terrible game of tennis the other day, I couldn't get my eyes off of this. So I missed a lot of the pitch, but hopefully you guys listened. <laughs> all right. Gene, you've done a lot of these. What do you think? Well, yeah. First of all, I'm a squash player, not a tennis player, okay? But I can see the way Xavier is hitting the ball. I mean, it's a, it's a great product, right? Thank you. Um, my opinion, Dimitri, um, I think you need a partner is what you need. I mean, you are out like one in a million people out there looking for money, trying to grow your business. And I don't know, if it was me acting all alone, I'd be looking to talk to the big manufacturers in the tennis industry, anybody that might have a name or some credibility. You might have to give up some equity to do something like that. But I got news for you. You know, it would get some more attention for you. It really might help you raise some money, and uh, that's what I think I'd be doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Ryan, what do you think? Well, you I actually started in graduate school by starting a publication called the New England Tennis Journal, so I spent a lot of time on tennis courts, and I know this is actually something I would use, so I'm really interested in playing with it and trying it. The issue that I have is that is it a gadget that I'm investing in or is it a business I'm investing in? So what are the broad range other products and technologies that you're going to be innovating that are going to come after this? Well, that's and I, I want to know, Xavier, did you learn on this or did you learn on a court? I learned exactly how you see it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. All right. Well, let, let's give you a chance well to works. see uh, if well, they could take another meeting. And, and you guys can chat afterwards, too. Would you take another meeting? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Very much so. All that right. would be great. All right. Well, Thank you. great. Thank you so much. Good luck with everything. Good luck with your game. Thanks for being our model out there. And if any of you guys out there have a product or a service and you want feedback from our Elevator Pitch Panel on your chances of getting interested investors, all you have to do is send us an email. The address is yourbusiness at msnbc.com. Please include a short summary of what your company does, how much money you're trying to raise, and what you intend to do with that money. You never know. Somebody out there watching the show may be interested in helping you.